Hello, Richard, SmartGuard Shutters. In this video, I wanna show you how to secure your accordion shutter and to close them. Uh, give you a couple of little tips and tricks on these. Now I have a couple of them already closed. This one is open. This particular accordion is a HV style accordion. They have the locking rods that go up into the top and the bottom of the tracks. The uh, locking rods are what used are what are used to keep the uh, accordions when they're in this uh, position from rattling around in the wind. Um, keep them locked back in place. Some of the other styles that you might have are Velcro straps or uh, little stoppers that go in the, the top or in the bottom of the track to keep the accordions back. But these have the locking rods. So in order to close these, you'll take your little thumb screw here, twist it, and this will disengage the pin from the top track. You're gonna do the same thing around the bottom. Take the thumb screw, twist it, and lift it up. Now when you uh, do this, especially on the one on the bottom, uh, you want to go ahead and make sure that you twist this back. If you forget, it'll drop down, and the pin will drop down and uh, make it a little bit more difficult for you to close. So I'm going to do this real quick on both sides. And start pulling these to the center. Now, in the center of the track, there's some holes on the top. There's two holes on the, on the bottom and then two on the top. That is the uh, holes for the locking rods. Now, the lock in the center, this has a dust cap on it, but this is a turnstile lock, it's a keyless lock. So in order for you to engage or unlock this, you would just spin it like this. If you have a key, you'd put it in the hole, or uh, in, in the keyhole, turn it, and it would disengage. If you push it, this is what will engage the pin through the uh, other blade here. So one thing to note, when you go to put these together, if you have the lock engaged, so this is uh, currently engaged where the uh, pin is coming through the back. If you go to put these two halves together, they're in, it's going to sit here and fight with you. You're not going to be able to get them together because this pin is keeping you from being able to slide this blade into this groove right here behind it. So you want to make sure that you have it unlocked. So in this case, I'm going to just turn the thumb lock. If you have your key, you put it in there and turn it. And the idea of what you're going to want to do is to get this blade to go into this groove behind. And then the same thing with this blade, you're gonna go in front into this groove. And it's pretty easy. Um, this particular shutter has a kind of a finger, I call it like a finger pull on the sides here. So you can kind of grab this with your hand and pull it forward. Same thing on this one, kind of grab them and pull them together. And when you pull them together, You'll kind of feel it click into place and you know you have it. So right there, I pulled them together. Feels like it's secure. And then as you have them pulled together, keep some pressure on it and then push that center lock in. That will engage it and you can see it's not wanting to pop open so we know we locked it properly. So once that's done, put the little cap on. You're gonna take your locks, your pins, slide them up into the track. You slide them, you're gonna just tighten this up a little bit. Same thing here, slide them up, one's on the bottom, and that's it. That's all you got to do. And then just reverse the process in order to open them back up. Um, if you have any questions on this product, you can give us a call, 386-227-6295, or uh, check us out on our website at smartguardshutters.com. Thank you so much.